Hi guys, today I'm doing a Kat Von D concealer and powder review. I got an influencer box box. If you guys don't know what influencer is, I can't keep repeating myself in these videos. I'll leave my video about what it is below. It's just, the gist in one sentence is you get free stuff to review. That's the gist. But today I'm doing a review of these four products, which are the Lock It Concealer Cream, which are these. I got two different shades, which I will get into. The Lock It Edge Concealer Brush, which looks like that. The Locket Setting Powder, which comes in this thing, it's like a loose powder. And then the Locket Setting Powder Brush, which looks like this. And I'm going to give you kind of the lowdown of what these products are, my applying them, how they last that day, kind of a whole whole shebang, kind of like a foundation review but just with a concealer and a, and a powder. So my first product that I'm talking about is the Locket Concealer Cream. I got these two shades which are Light 11 Neutral and Light 5 Neutral. This concealer says creamy full coverage meets 24 hour power formula of the future finally lets you have it all. Rich and creamy full coverage plus true 24 hour wear, ultimate multitasking, correct under eye darkness, spot concealed blemishes, contour highlight and more. You're supposed to with those use this brush which says Locket Edge Concealer Brush High Performance Brush for Artists with an Edge. New artistry brush with a unique sculpted shape specifically designed for applying Locket Cream Concealer Cream. This brush is molded to conform to the face's curves and contours for precise blending and control from every angle. Now, I don't apply concealer and foundation with a brush. I use my fingers. I just find it to be the most natural, gives the most coverage, doesn't like absorb a ton of product, doesn't collect bacteria as much. So I won't be using this. I don't know if that's cheating or something, but I'm sure that a lot of people who buy this concealer aren't necessarily buying the brush. And then the Locket Setting Powder, which comes in this nice thing. It says lightweight, no cake. An advanced translucent setting powder formulated with weightless micro blurring technology to set and perfect for a flawless finish. And then the Locket Setting Powder brush is something I'm super excited about because it looks amazing. The ultimate brush for a lockdown flawless finish, the perfect tool for locking it setting powder to set and perfect the entire face, fluffy dome silhouette comp comprised of ultra soft synthetic bristles. That's kind of the gist of these products and let you know my preferences. My skin right now is combination. Um, it's mostly dry. I'd say like 75% dry, 25% oily. Definitely get oily in my forehead, nose, t-zone area. It says it's 24 hours. It's supposed to be matte coverage and it's not supposed to go anywhere. But even when I get oily, my coverage normally doesn't go anywhere. It just looks super shiny. I don't want full coverage. I'm more of like a light medium coverage person. I wear CC cream on an everyday basis and you can watch any of my other like foundation reviews if you want to hear like if I like something that you like, then maybe you'll like this, something like that. Okay guys, so we are going to go try out all these products, so how exciting. The first thing I'm going to use is the Locket Concealer Cream, obviously, because that's the order it goes in. But I did get two shades of the concealer, because I guess they didn't know which one was going to be right for me. And I got two shades, which are Light 5 Neutral and Light 11 Neutral, which are very different. Like... You can see those colors there. I feel like they both look too dark for me from the box. The colors look so light now. Ooh, first of all, I like this, this doe foot applicator. It's like not really doe foot. It's like different. I like that. I think 11 would be good for my face, and I think that 5 would be good for my under eye. It's so creamy, guys. Like, this is the kind of concealer you'd think would be in like a little pot, you know? Wow. Oh my god, look at that. I'm going to bring it up over my eyes just because you guys know I crease real bad, and it says crease proof, so maybe it'll like be a good, um eye primer for me too. So that's super light. I don't know if that's way too light for me. I don't know, I'm pretty impressed actually because usually thicker concealers like this will like be real dry under my eyes and like leave little like crepey bits and like make it look dry. But it's not doing that. Like I think I see how it has good coverage but it doesn't have that like orangey salmon color to really neutralize darkness. Okay so it's super duper light like that's my only problem is that the color is too light for me. So my under eyes don't feel dry or cakey or anything like that so that's pretty good. I'm actually kind of impressed. Okay, so let's go with the darker one which is light 11. It blends super easily that's something I really like about it. As of right now I really really like the coverage. Let's do the magnifying mirror and see what happens. It's kind of invisible. I can see it more under my eyes when I get this close. But it's not like super dry on the rest of my face. So now we're going to go on to the powder. It's a loose powder which I don't normally like to be on. I just find it to be messy and like not very convenient. I'm excited about this brush because I never feel like I have enough powder brushes. I'm not going to powder my whole face just because I get super dry. I'm going to powder like my forehead, nose, um cheeks and chin that 
tapping off that excess. It is translucent, so that's nice that I don't have to like match a color to me. I don't hate it, actually. Still doesn't look super dry and cakey, which I'm really happy about. It just kind of feels dry, but my skin usually feels normally dry. But I do like it. Like, I'm excited to keep on using this. It feels smooth. I like it. But I think if you do like fuller coverage, but you don't like the feeling of heavy makeup, this might be a good concealer for you. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and let you know how I feel and then I'll try to check back in later. I'm really liking the concealer a whole lot. Like I think that it did a really, really, really good job of covering. The under eye area is not as good as the rest, but my under eye area is so like weird about concealers, but this is more coverage and still gives you that like this isn't really cakey weird look and I've tried the NARS creamy concealer and I did not like that I thought it was super cakey it just did not blend well on me whatsoever my pores are smaller which I think is due to that powder I do like it like I said I am going to use a darker concealer under my eyes next time I use this just because I think that lighter one is just way too light I'm really impressed actually I really like it a lot like I'm so impressed right now I'm so excited so I'll check back later bye <laughs> Even by now, normally if I hadn't set my makeup with powder, I would feel super oily and look really shiny, but I don't. I look completely matte, but not flat. So I like how I look matte, but it still looks natural, like a natural matte finish, not like a gross, dry matte finish. Because my skin is mostly dry recently, I was a little bit worried about these products, but my skin does not look dry. It does kind of feel dry, but I always kind of feel dry, so that's not something I'm going to like say is because of these products it's just my skin but so i'm just gonna go through each product and tell you if i like it or not and if i would repurchase it and like all that stuff if i recommend it so first things first is the concealer now it's claims like i read earlier it says 24 hour wear crease proof full coverage and hydrating now hydrating i wouldn't say it's hydrating i'd just say it's not drying that that's like kind of what my difference would be there i don't feel like it's making my skin moisturize it's not like my cosmetic cc cream or my bye bye under eye that i feel like really put moisture back in my skin I just feel like it's not drawing me out the coverage is phenomenal like I've never used a concealer this high coverage that wasn't cakey I'm very impressed with that but when you look at my skin it doesn't look like I have heavy duty concealer on which is what this is though no matter what shade you are you will find a color that works for you definitely lighter there's way more lighter like really light I think there's a white one in here but I like these a lot the dofa applicator is really like unique the packaging isn't like my number one priority if there's cute packaging I do get sucked in but um, this isn't packaging I like would have went for i'm very impressed like, i do feel like this is a concealer i would be interested in purchasing concealer brush is the one thing i think that i'm kind of like whatever on it's not a bad brush that's i, I don't want to make you think that it's like not worth your time if you like concealer brushes and you use a brush to apply your concealer go for it it's a really interesting shape i don't know that i've seen a brush this shape before but it's just not for me. I don't like using brushes for concealer. Next is the powder. Powder is something I was super excited about, but also kind of nervous about because powder gets so dry on me. This is a translucent powder, which I love, so I don't have to match my shade. The package is not my favorite. I just feel like it's so easy to make a mess. I do like the shade of it though because it's not pure white. I feel like when I've used pure white translucent powders in the past, like the Makeup Forever one, it just makes me look so weird. Um, but this one has like a yellow tone to it, which I like. I feel like it neutralizes any redness. So really like that. But if you've tried the Makeup Forever HD and you didn't like that, don't assume you won't like this because it kind of looks similar this is much better and then last but not least is the powder brush which i love like i honestly i think my two favorite things are the concealer and this powder brush it applies the perfect amount and i feel like it'd be perfect for a contour and a blush it's just like a really great multitasking brush i'm gonna say right now my impressions of all of these products i'm gonna give like a 4.7 out of 5 just because i they're so expensive and i know i can't really judge them the only thing i am gonna say is concealer isn't hydrating as it says maybe it's just because i have drier skin i'm sure if you have oilier skin um maybe it's more hydrating the products are more i'd say i'd be say marketing for like oily to combination skin it gives you like this really nice like this is my skin it looks matte and good and like really flawless but not too flawless like you know what i mean <laughs> Okay, so I'm now just on my phone because I didn't feel like turning my camera back on and the battery died. So I just wanted to catch up with you about how this is going and I'm not shiny. I know I look shiny, it's just I have like two lights on me because it's so dark out. It's super humid out, so normally I'd be so oily and greasy and I don't feel greasy whatsoever. It still looks really good, coverage is still there. And I really like it. I definitely think that I like my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye better for under the eye just because it's more moisturizing. This one's really good for spots. Like I'm definitely going to keep on using this for spots. I really like that powder. I'm thinking probably by like 
like right now it's almost four ish so i'm thinking by like six if i don't take my makeup off by then if i wanted to keep it on until like nine or something i would probably have to powder one more time but that's pretty good for me normally like every time i look in the mirror like every like half hour i feel like i have to powder i'm really really like this stuff like i said earlier i'm giving it like a 4.7 out of five and i'm gonna go with still pretty much that you know i mean there's nothing wrong with it i think it's really great i would definitely recommend it one second I definitely recommend it. I don't know about 24 hours. I've never worn my makeup for 24 hours, so I can't like tell you about that. I will be doing a blog post if you want to read about that with a lot of pictures and close-ups and everything of the products. Go check that out if you're very interested in these products or want to hear more. Definitely recommend Influencer. Definitely recommend these products. I mean, if you've never tried Kat Von D and you've been interested, go for it. If you've never been interested and you watch this video, be interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more reviews and other products. Video. What am I saying? Subscribe to see more reviews and any other videos I do. I do tons of different videos on my channel, so definitely subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. Check out Influencer, I'll have them linked below. I have all these products linked below. My blog post that's linked below. All that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video, hopefully. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.